Hello lovely people. So I haven't done a video in a while. I haven't been down at my camper in a month and um I came down on Tuesday. I didn't get anything done really because I was exhausted just the four hour drive does it. Um let's see, today's Thursday, so Wednesday I had to go to the hardware store, get the plywood and the wood for the framing, which almost tapped me out of the rest of my budget, but um, I didn't have much to start with. I mean, it's not like I got loads of money, so as I'm going, things do appear like I'm going to probably be doing a complete gut job. So. It is going to take a little longer because I'm going to have to save up for things like a wood stove, the tankless water heater, um, panels for the wall. I may have enough insulation for the walls. I have pink insulation, but it's really thick. So if I do the walls, I'm going to have to half that insulation. Um, or I'm going to have to save up for more of that styrofoam insulation. I have enough of it for the floor. That was in my planned budget anyway. And uh, I don't know. If I'm doing a complete gut job, that means um, I'm going to have to take the cabinets out and everything. And I don't know if the cabinets are going to be saveable if I remove them. Which kind of makes me sad but at the same time I can uh, use pine shelving and uh, the you know L shells that you put the the uh, wood on and uh, it's pretty easy install for that and then it'll be open shelving that could whitewash the pine it'll look even more cottagey so look on the bright side right but yeah um so, fun fact, my toilet leaks. So, um, I did do a test. I put water down it, and it went right out to the ground. So, I'm thinking, cool. I don't have to keep, you know, trying to make it over to Pam's to uh, go pee or pop a squat outside. But um, then today, this morning... Like, I wasn't putting paper down it. I put paper in the garbage can because, obviously, I was thinking about clogs. So, either way, something happened, and it started coming up from the base of the toilet. So, I'm going to assume, like, the flange or whatever it's called is cracked, or the seal is just no good. But, you know what? That's okay. It is a little more stinky in here, because I also ripped up the floor in the hall which confirmed the fact that it wasn't just today that it started leaking. It's been leaking before and it just probably never went noticed because, you know, the other day I thoroughly cleaned the toilet and maybe there was something stuck in there previously and it backed up and, you know, it's not like I snake, snake the thing. So is what it is. I'm going to be ripping that floor up anyway. I was kind of hoping I could save some kind of flooring in here and not have to rip it up, but from what I can tell, you know, it is a 1987 camper. There's stuff, and it's probably better that I do just rip it all out because it's kind of musty anyway. But yeah, so um, today I took out the furnace, and... Uh, we were thinking, you know what, if the furnace works, I can use it while I save up for a wood stove. Mm -mm. I'm glad we didn't even try that furnace. I'm glad I went with my gut instinct and ripped it out because it was rusted. Rusted. There was like so much rust residue. It wasn't just the pipe rusted. There was like particulate. Um, I'll show you when I do the rock through. But, um... Yeah, so I don't know if someone can use it for parts. I put it in our marketplace, you know, make an offer, make a trade, come look at it, take it if you want it kind of thing. But, um, 
yeah, I don't know enough about furnaces to even attempt to try and salvage that, and I don't think it's worth it. Um, something else I'm thinking about is updating the electrical panel. 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 Um, I'm also thinking that um, if I am going to rip everything out, um, once I get to the electrical panel, I can find out where all of these weird wires go to. And then I'll be able to maybe disconnect them, save some of the panel, or if I get a new electric panel box, whatever, I'm tired, um, then I can just rewire it that way with the existing wiring that I actually will use. I mean, there's wiring for lights in here that I am not going to replace. I don't need that many lights. Um... There's wiring for the speaker system and radio. I'm not going to use it. It doesn't work anyway. So I might as well rip it out and take the wiring. Um, you know, there's some things that I'm just not going to use that things are wired to. And uh, if I get a new panel, then if I do end up um, getting solar... Uh, um, or if I connect to the grid, because that's a possibility too. If I do connect to the grid, then I will have an upgraded panel that can, uh, take more power and output more power for the things that I would use. I mean, there's a lot of things to contemplate and it really is a journey as you go through and the more you pull up, the more you find, and then you have to stop, reassess the plan. And with anything older and vintage like that, that's just the way it goes. Things aren't going to go, like, immaculately perfect. I didn't expect them to. Um, I have been really frustrated today. Today was a down day. And, uh, you can probably tell I'm not, like, all smiley and, uh, cheery. I'm just really tired. Um, so, my frustration with today is my floor. Um, after I ripped the furnace out, I tried to get some of the plywood up, and um, the way that it's affixed, obviously, under the wall, is harder to get up, even though a lot of it's rotted. But um, I tried cutting out pieces at a time, and I got some off. I got, I got the stuff away from the... Uh, propane line for the furnace and away from the water lines but of course the one tool that I need is a oscillating tool and I have one back in Pictou County <laughs> brand new one I never even used it yet I got a brand new one with all the different attachments and it's the one tool I did not pack in my tote I have, like, my chainsaw, I have my hands, well, I don't even know the names anymore, I'm too tired, jigsaw is one of them, I have my drill and all my bits, oh, I got a bunch of stuff, but not the one tool I can use to uh, cut the plywood, and well, the subfloor is what it is, away from the wall, so I can take it up. So, that's that. I mean, Pam's hubby aren't, has the oscillating tool, but I don't know where he keeps the different blades for it. And, I mean, he works, so um, I'm not going to bother him messaging him all day and trying to find it in his workshop. Because, you know, just like my workshop, I know where everything is. Nobody else does, and it's the same with him. So, I'm just... Like, whatever, <laughs> at this point, I'll ask him on the weekend when he's not working. And, um, the only other thing about today's frustration is just, like, I feel like I'm not doing enough. And that things aren't moving as quickly as I'd like. And 
let's be honest, the fact that I'm doing this is amazing in itself. Seeing that I have MS, I have spurs in my upper spine, I have degenerative disc disease, I have high blood pressure, I have clinical depression, I have anxiety, I have psoriasis, I have celiac disease. So the fact that I'm doing this, and for the most part doing it myself, I just have to remind myself that that in itself is an amazing thing. So, yeah, let's do a little tour. It's just, I get frustrated too because I'm not as strong as I was. I did do some chainsaw work yesterday as well, but anyway incense because of the stank so this is the closet which is going to be ripped out where the fridge is all of that is going to be ripped out um my electrical panels down there this is from the leaky toilet i wish you had smell vision because it's nasty um so yeah tiny little bathroom little sink I brought that cabinet because mirror's not enough that is going to be my shower base I have to make a shower which I'm going to do when I have the tankless water heater cute little shelves the evil toilet of leaking but you know it is what it is I'm going to have to rip it up anyway um, it's only wet there right now because I sprayed vinegar to try and get some of the stank up. Didn't work, let's just say that. So, um, yeah. There's the piping under there for the sink. And, uh, the grossness. Yeah. And, uh, so that's my little hallway to my bedroom. So what's going to happen is this is all going to come out because in order to do the floor, this has to come out. So I will have to brace it, I assume. Um, I ripped that off today because I was frustrated. Um, this metal thing is where the tires are. Um, so here we go. Grossness. As you can see, there is rot. This is where the furnace was. So I removed the furnace. And uh, that's where all the plumbing stuff is there. All the. Oh, I can't even think. Tubes. You know, <laughs> they're not tubes, you know. Whatever. The hose. That's it. The hose. And um, this is all the ducts 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 um i had to take all this in because it's supposed to be raining throughout the week so i bought all my plywood i needed for the entire floor front to back um this is house wrap i use it um between the plywood and the metal of the floor so that it gives a vapor barrier all the wood I need to frame the entire floor. My toolbox. <laughs> See, I have a bunch of pink insulation for if I do the walls. But, um, yeah, I have a little tiny kitchen on the go. Totes that were in the closet. Air fryer. So glad I took that. But, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able keep my cabinets which is sad because this is like my food cabinet and then you know cups like I don't have enough mugs uh -huh. and then over here you know but what I'm thinking is that if I do have to get rid of the cabinets just pine shelving here. Oh, here's one of my house spiders. He's really nice. 
but um if i do pine shelves it'll be open and i think it'll look nicer to be honest and then i can also think about the configuration of how i want to set my kitchen up I want to put my fridge not there anymore. So I'm assuming I will figure that out eventually. I might just take out some of this plumbing, move the sink over. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens come up with a plan and go with that but um also fun thing when uh whenever I come down here the first time I came down here I think I posted about it I found this by all my coffee stuff and uh that little gem isn't mine. So, um, I don't know where it came from. It was on the counter with all my stuff that I also had cleaned the entire countertop off. It wasn't there. And then this time, this one is mine. This is citrine. I have it all over. It's positive energy stone. It was in the cabinets up there by my coffee also ironic why it's because that stone I first found was where my coffee was when it was over here on the counter when I opened up the cabinet in behind my coffee this is what I found it's a hologram it's not mine. It's from Harry Potter. It's a uh, Garrick Ollivander, a uh, maker of fine wine wands that believe that the best wand had cores of powerful magic substances, expertly enclosed in specially selected and complementary wand woods. So, um. I moved my coffee once again, so it's uh, right here. So I wonder if uh, my next trip there's going to be another little gift left for me because uh, that's just what's been going on. So. Um, I made a little altar in my bathroom for all the little stuff. This is a little sapphire bit. Teeny tiny sapphire. Sapphire is my birthstone. And uh, sorry for the light. I put the citrine there too. With my little thing. My, you know poo puri poo be gone. Not that I'm ever going to use it because the toilet leaks and I don't have a black water tank. Maybe I'll take it over to Pam's. But yeah, I mean, this is almost already empty too. But, um, that's what's up. That's been my last few days. And, uh, yeah, I've just been really frustrated today and... I don't know, I'm just annoyed with myself, or what, but it was a down day, and every day can't be fabulous, so that's okay. I also brought a few new signs. Sorry for the close-up of, like, my nose. It's, uh, not a professional photographer. So, I also got these. How 
probably can't read them because they're backwards. Here we go. And uh, take the flash off. And uh, I got this sign because I've just been through a lot. I have a phoenix tattooed on my chest over my heart. To just remind me that I keep rising from the ashes. And I will continue to do so. And you can come back from anything. And I always do. Now this one is also a new sign. Well, it's not a new sign. It's a new to my camper sign. I had it at my place. So, yeah. So, there's a video for the last few days. Put my signs back up. And, uh, yeah, my back is killing me. Um, when they delivered my uh, plywood and lumber, they delivered it to the other driveway. And uh, I understand why they did it, because um, Pam's daughter and her fiancé, they have an RV too. It's a newer one, though. So the delivery guys just saw an RV, dropped the lumber off, right? But then I had to haul it all the way across the yard, around the house, up the yard, to my camper. And then I did all that. Um, their son helped me with the quarter, no, the half inch plywood, because I just couldn't carry that myself. I was wore down. Um, quarter inch plywood, I carried on my friggin' head. I mean, it's bendy and it's light, so pat on my head for doing that. I mean, the boards are pretty light. I can carry four at a time, two in each hand under my arm, so it's just, it's a lot of heavy lifting for me with my back problems, and uh, I'm going to suffer for that. Yeah, so today I think I'm just frustrated because I'm sore and a little bit cranky and uh, I didn't get as much done as I was hoping to get done. I'm going to be leaving here on Tuesday. It's Thursday and I'm just... Oh wait, no, today is today Friday? Today is Friday. Oh my god. Okay, well, I got less done than I thought in the amount of days that I've been here. I did use my chainsaw and cut down a bunch of stuff, and I started the hawthorn berry bush. It's friggin' massive. Um, I might do a little short video of that tomorrow if it's decent out. I have a video of it, but I did a voiceover of a previous video of what it used to look like, and then a video of what it looks like after I cut it. I don't know how to edit it so I can combine them. I'm not techie smart anymore. Um, this is the most techie I'm getting because uh, I do not even edit these videos. I do not care. You get what you get. This is me. I'm too tired to uh, edit it. I don't have enough time in a day to make things shiny and pretty for YouTube. Why? Why would I want to get rid of all of these little lines? Oh, I'm going to be so old and wrinkly. It's going to be awesome. I know. Most people are vain about that shit. I, like, can't wait. I think aging is a beautiful thing and we're very lucky that we can age because uh, there's a lot of people that don't even make it through their childhood so I'll take the wrinkles anyway me babbling a lot a little showing you the crap I've been dealing with and uh my frustration. I didn't insulate any of the floor. 
that was already framed. I kind of just slammed plywood down on top of it so I could move stuff out of the way and start ripping up the floor here, which hasn't been going well, but that's okay. Sometimes you just gotta take your time and uh, things will come when uh, they come. And best things in life are worth working hard for. And uh, sometimes I just like to sit when I'm taking a break in my chair. I put my calendar up that I won, but uh, I just sit there in my chair and I look down my hall and I daydream about how everything's going to be in here when it's completed and how it's going to look how I want my cabinets, the kind of countertop I would like, the paint, I already have paint, that stuff. It's a uh, eco paint, but it's uh, like a sagey green color. Anyway, I also have beige, because <clears throat> I want to go with kind of earthy pastel tones beiges and greens and surprisingly maybe even some pinks in here but my vinegar bottle my incense yeah I don't know what I'm going to do about this because if I don't have a sewage tank for uh, the toilet the toilet's not working do I need that Anybody know? Comment if you know if I need that for venting. But yeah, random cord, don't know why. So yeah, tomorrow, move fridge out of here for sure. Rip this side up. Because if I do rip this side up, then I can get the floor on this side done and then move things on top of it. And then do this side. Yeah, this is my bedroom door. And I'm keeping it. Like, it is going to be actually uh, painted. I have glass paint. So I'm going to get artsy and craftsy. And I'm going to paint each pane of glass so that it's almost like a stained glass but each one will have something different in it and something meaningful to me and then I can look at it and the sun can shine through it and remind me how beautiful things can be so that's it for today Thank you for maybe even listening. I don't know. You might have just skip through to see the demo shit. That's okay, too. And uh, I'm going to let you go. I hope you enjoyed this video, whether it was morning, noon, or night. Good morning, noon, or night. <laughs> and uh, peace. Be kind costs nothing to be kind. I mean, it does not cost anything to be yet either, but I live by this. None of this. None. <laughs>